Good morning and welcome to the April 18th Queen Anne's County Board of Education meeting. May I have a motion to go into closed session? Pursuant to the general provision Article 3-305B, 7, and 3-104, I move that we go into closed session to consult with council. I second the motion. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. The ayes have it. Thank you. Welcome back. May I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. The ayes have it. Welcome to the Board of Education's work session. May we all stand and repeat the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Dr. Kane, um, at this time, would you introduce our presentation? So thank you very much. We do have Mr. Brad Engel, who is going to speak with us for just a moment about um, a review that we did with the APA. Good afternoon, uh, esteemed board members. Um, this presentation is posted on the website, and I think you guys have access to it. In light of the time, I would ask that we postpone this presentation until after you've had a chance to view the presentation, and then we can reschedule uh, for another convenient time. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Engel. Yes. Yep. And, and we'll be happy to respond to any questions that you have. Yes. Um, you should have after you've had an opportunity to review yes. that presentation. Yes. Okay. 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 Thank you. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Engel. May I have a motion to move into closed session? Sure. So, oh, do I have something to read? So moved. No, 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 here, no. I'll read it. Pursuant to the general provisions article code 3-305B1 and 7 and 3-104, I move that we go into closed section to discuss an administrative function. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. The ayes have it. Welcome back to the Queen Anne's County Board of Education meeting. Um, at this time, Dr. Kane, if you would like to um, explain the uh, budget to us. Yes, so we are back at, um, at our budget um, right now. And so what we needed to talk about today were some options. Um, in the event that we only get maintenance of effort, we certainly want to inform our employees and the public about what it is that we will need to do um, to balance our budget. So with the budget presentation, we offer two scenarios. I'm certainly not going to go through the whole budget presentation, but we offer two scenarios that gave a picture of what we might need to do should we only um, get funded only maintenance of effort. So and if we flip to that part of the, of the screen, and what you're looking at is once it was all said and done with um, maintenance of effort and education effort, our rec rec request was reduced to about $3.9 million. And we said, should we only get maintenance of effort? Of effort? The first thing we do is we would uh, reduce the um, positions or we would cut the positions. The new positions that we requested were at $700,000, and that would leave about $3.2 million um, for a request. And we know that we gave a couple of scenarios. We, we talked about the average teacher salary, and we talked about the fact that it's $65,000 in salary plus $20,000 in benefits. That gives us about $85,000 for our average, and that equated to about 38 positions. Well, we certainly know that we don't want to be talking about reducing 38 positions, so we've gone back and we've taken a closer look and what we would do and what you're, you're not going to see it up on that screen this is a conversation that we're having because these are considerations and let me first say that we are continuing to uh, meet with our bargaining units we still do not have a um, an agreement with our bargaining units but this is some ideas that we have and that we certainly will be meeting with our bargaining units as we move forward to um, to, to talk about what we need to do so in addition to what we have right there, we, the thought was, one, we would need to um, cut the additional lost step, that amount, um, and then we need to cut the 2.2 
percent for those employees who were at the top of the scale. Doing that in addition to the 700,000 for the new position would bring our request down to 1.9 million. This is that's, what, that's what I just said. You're not going to see that. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. So, and I heard you say that, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I just wanted to refresh your memory okay. Okay. With, okay. with that so that you Sorry can see where that. we left off. So, and I'll repeat what I just mm -hmm. said just in case you were looking <laughs> yeah. for it. So what we do, because we've gone deeper now, so right. what we do is we continue to say we would not request new positions. Then we would not request the 1% lost step for those employees who were here in 2012 and did not get a step. In addition, we would not request the 2.2% for those employees who were at the top of the scale and, that, um, and couldn't get to that, um, that lost step. So those were three things that we said we'd reduce. And once that's said and done, our new request would be 1.9 million. Now, considering that we, if we only get maintenance of effort, we've got to balance that, that 1.9 million. So where are we going to get it from? The first thing that we'd like to do is we want to say the 264000 that we were going to pay ourselves back from having to dip into our fund balance, we just not pay it back. Right. There were some new items in our, um, you might want to drive for me. There were some new items that we were requesting. We asked for $10,000 in legal fees, if you recall. <coughs> we asked for $24,000 for uh, school day SAT. We asked for $15,000 for early <coughs> college tuition. And we asked for $210,000 for software licenses. We would not make those requests. We would eliminate those requests. Okay, so that 264000 plus those additional four items that we'd listed in our uh, budget request, that would reduce us another $523,000. So we're $210,000. $210,000 were software licenses. Software, thank you. And is that one's up there. Another year that one's up there. Oh, it's on the screen. Yeah. We're going to have to figure out how else we can do it. It's going let, to me, nice. let me just say a word about the software licenses. If you recall, Software licenses were not budgeted. Right. So, mm -hmm. and, and because we're a school district, we, we have to budget, you mm -hmm. know, that was our thinking. We have to budget for that expense. We were looking for our end of year money to pay for that. And that's and dangerous. So, that is dangerous. But if we only get maintenance of effort, we don't have a choice but to live in that world of, of dangerous. Yes. So our proposal is to also eliminate that request. So once again, with the 264000 that we need to pay for fund balance and the four items that I just mentioned, the legal fees, school day SAT, early college, and software licenses, we have reduced our request by $523,000. What was the bus contract money? Oh, that was for um, our, our, contra our contractors right now. So that, that one we, we can't we reduce can't because that, that. right. What gotcha. about early college? What was that amount? That amount was $15,000. 15. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So it would be the legal fees. 10000 mm -hmm. School day. Testing contracts, mm -hmm. the software. And early college. And early, early college, college, which is on okay. the next page for uh, okay. 15000 So that reduces by... Um, it's, it's down a couple of Mr. P. There you go. So Good. it reduces by 523,000. From so the 1. From the 1. 1. 1.9. <clears throat> so that brings us to about 1.4. 520? Right? 523,000. 23. Yes. yes. Okay. So, and we're down to 1.4. So that brings us to, right, exactly, to about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to round, and so we'll say okay. 1.4. And so we had a lot of conversations about, okay, that's still a lot of uh, funds that we have to balance to, to just about zero here. So we considered, and, and we put this consideration up when we gave the budget presentation, there's $178,000 that we are paying for our employees who have individual EPO. So there are some employees, about 245 employees, who do not pay any contribution toward their health insurance. And so for us, for the district, that would mean 178000 So we have that sort of hanging out there. I want to put that out there just um, for you to, to, to think about. So and that'd that still be 9010? No, it'd be I'm 100%. Sorry. Oh, having them pay 100%? Well, no. they currently pay nothing. nothing. We pay 100%. And yes, 9010 would be They'd the proposal. They'd be paying 10%. Yes. We'd still pay 90. Yeah, that, that is correct. Correct. That is correct.
And those are active employees. Correct. Yeah, there's no way to do like 80 20. <laughs> yeah, but we, not agree to that first. Yeah, we, we were just trying to. Little baby steps. Yeah. And do we. That's what we pay. Know of any counties that make their employees pay anything? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I mean, not their employees, their retired group. Their retired group, I'm sorry. The There's retired no. group isn't included in this 90 We're not talking about the required requir retired Do we have group. counties in the area who do tap their retirees for some? Um, I don't know off of the top of my head. I'm pretty positive that we do, but we can find that out for you. That'd be a good I'm thinking for question. future next year as if the employees that are current give up something this year, maybe we go to the retirees next year. I know it won't go over great, but I think I everybody's a time as getting, a retiree well, altering the ones that are currently retired because they have organized and planned their rest of their life right. based on what they're getting. If I you get wanna, that. I'm if, in there. If you want to affect people that are... Coming going up on into retirement, it. right? But I wouldn't mess with. But the not ones. the ones in the no, past. I don't think that's fair yeah. at all. Okay, so um, continuing forward, we we started to look at uh, how are we going to come up, of course, with this 1.4 million. That's a lot of positions, and we and we and just like everybody else in our community, that is absolutely the last thing that we want to do is to start cutting positions. So we have to look at other places, and the question becomes: Do we want to pay uh, raises, or do we want to cut employees or, or FTEs positions? And so we thought we might come up with a compromise that we're going to present to our bargaining units. Of course, once again, we continue to negotiate, so none of this is approved, but this is a thought that we're having: is instead of offering one step in one percent we may and mr. Farley might need to jump in here for a second we may um, find we, we position ourselves better to reduce this uh, this deficit that we're this shortfall if we offered 1.5 percent Cola mm -hmm. not a step but 1.5 no, percent cola. I don't go for that and then we're two steps let, down. Let me let me let me explain what the dollars look like before we just say no. So we've you know one percent. I mean one percent or one step. I should say is six hundred and one step was one point three million. One percent was six hundred and twenty five thousand. And if we went one point five percent cola. That'd be the 625 plus another half of that, which is 312. So that'd be $937,000. That'd be a savings for us of $988,000, almost a million dollars. All right. Let me ask you Can this. I hear oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was just questioning. Why. I just don't want to be down another step. Another thing is, a cola doesn't go for maintenance of effort so then we're you know next year what are we going to do it's just going to keep continuing i think it's a bad precedent we already are hearing over and over and over again about a lost step that happened several years ago and i think we're just putting ourselves in a very bad position the economy is not that bad and i think the commissioners need to be aware of that we so save that for desperate times i don't understand not being able to open this book and see that these teachers when they get a step maybe 300 maybe 500 a year and then you give them a one percent on a sixty thousand dollar salary that's 600 we're talking a thousand dollars a year minus 45 percent taxes they're coming home with 40 bucks ten dollars a month what is there not to understand here that it costs money to give a workforce like we have any kind of an increase not even decent I can't even say it's decent they're doing it for their people they talk about what they're doing and how it's going to be configured but they never can sit in our chairs and understand we have almost a thousand employees we have not recovered our workforce that we originally lost and our raises are no bigger than theirs and often right. not as big and our what, staff if we don't keep yeah. our staff yeah. At a, a at a at a level where they feel that they are respected as individuals, they're the number one first contact with any child in this community. Absolutely. If you want to make a difference to a child, it's not because we give them online computers. It's because we have real people talking to them in their community, knowing their families, and dealing with everything that they go through. If we disrespect that, well, so I guess the, what we're doing here, though. <clears throat> 
is is putting out ideas. We're not we're not obligated to any of this. What this gives an opportunity for the teachers and the public and everybody to see right. what the impact oh, could possibly absolutely. be. 100% agree so with you. Yeah. We ought to we're bringing this out and I agree with that, but I'm just make saying, sure they understand. on the record, I don't support that. We're but I agree with that, that that's an option yeah. that's and out the, the question funding is, do we, right now. do we do all these raises and stuff, and then what do we come down to? Are we coming down to taking away positions? There so we're go. getting raises here, and we're firing people here. Because right. we're that's at a point right. of firing We don't, point. thank you for that, uh, Captain Kelly. We do not want to find ourselves in a position, and we all, there is not a person at this table, and in and, and, and our community, I'm sure, that would not promote raises for our employees. Everybody wants raises, but we cannot be at this table June the 1st trying to figure out what to do should we only get maintenance of effort and our employees go home in two weeks. Right, and I think what I'm trying to express to the community and the funding group is this is a big amount because it's a lot of people getting a little bit. That being said, is there a furlough option? I've had teachers come to me and say, I would rather take furlough days than to lose another step. And we did include in our cost saving considerations, in our list, we did yes. put furlough there. It was um, one, one day furlough, what was that? Yeah, right? I was going to say, how many days do we have to do to make up a significant amount of money? Yeah, 250,000. Is a day. That's a, a few 250,000s to get to. I know, but I really have had people, you know why? That doesn't impact their career earnings. Losing a step does. Losing a step does and losing positions. Do. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Making a move affects their career. Sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. So that was a consideration. Um, and should, and should, we, should we do something like that? We'd still have about 412,000 that, um, that we'd need to find. We also considered um, coordination of benefits. And that's where we look at employees who have children who may be, or dependents, I shouldn't say children, um, who may have dependents who are covered by multiple insurance policies. And, and we have to do that work to find out if there is a savings for us. And we have estimated that there is the possibility, we don't have this for certain, but we've estimated about a $63,000 um, savings should we um, move forward with, with getting that done. And that's definitely something that we need to do and we're going to do. And what would we be doing exactly? We'd be looking at the number, the, um, the dependents who we cover currently right. and whether or not they are covered by other insurance like policies. Like daddy's insurance instead and mommy's. Mm -hmm. Would it be up to the individual to be say like yes we want to do that or no? I mean, would I that think be? So because they already have it and now we can't it's just take it away. Well, from Dr. Yeah, Dr. Gorsuch, would you mind speaking yeah. to that? In most cases, the insurance companies do that anyway. They send every individual insured person that's short a form to fill out to indicate if there are other dependents that they have they're covered by another insurance company. Yep. So what needs to be done would be done by the insurance company, not by us. Mm -hmm. But they need our approval to do it, obviously. Oh. We're, we're the administrator of the program. So right. if we say yes, do that, then they will send everyone, ask them to tell, to truthfully tell what other dependents they have in the plan and are they covered by another plan. What they do then is they go through and make sure that the insurance company isn't paying, <laughs> isn't paying their cost for double insurance and we're not paying our cost for double insurance. You know, if you have one person who works here and has all the kids covered, you have someone who works someplace else and all the kids covered, then they're not going to get money from the insurance company twice. No, you have your but, primary and your secondary right, but, and it's staggered, but I don't think we have the right to tell them they can't do that. Sure we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we, do. we offer that as an insurance policy. So we could we, change that, our policy. No, well, it's, it's already in the policy. It's already in the policy. It's just whether or not we they tell the insurance company one that or we the want other. it done. <laughs> and and frankly, if you think about it, it's not taking away any coverage. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Coordination, coordination of benefits. I, I get that. But it's not taking any coverage away from anybody. What it is is being the How are we saving money How are you spending the money? How did you come up with 63? Yeah, how are we saving I'll the guess money? I guess at this point. Okay. And, and the, I don't, I don't, we, we from ended your up, experiment, from your experience Yes, before, and, yes. and it's probably going to be more. It's mm -hmm. certainly going to make a difference in terms of your claims. 
because those claims will follow where the insurance is. What are they giving up for us to save this money? That's my question. Well, I mean, well, I've had primary and secondary carriers, primary through my job and secondary through my husband's or vice versa. The truth I is, pay for both. You're talking Aaron, about primary and secondary. That's different. Th that's yeah. what I'm confused about. That, what, that's, what are primary we and secondary about? usually comes into play when you're on Medicare. And no, 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 no. Medicare is one, and then your insurance is the secondary. What, that's not true. What happens with this is, let me give you an example. To return after um, my wife was a health department employee, a nurse. I was a school system employee, okay? She got a certain deal on insurance for her. I had a deal for me. If mine was 100%, I'd never even be concerned about what it would cost to be on her plan. Why would I? You wouldn't have to. No, because but 100%. do we but, have 100% policy on our if, people? But if mine, if mine was 90%, then I'd go and look at it. No, hers wasn't, hers wasn't 100%. Mine wasn't 100%. So every year we sit down and said, well, where's the best deal? We didn't just sign up everybody for both plans because it would cost each of those institutions money. Do you think we really have that many employees that have all their kids covered under two full plans? Well, I don't know. That's why I said the $63,000. There's no disincentive to avoid our coverage. Yeah. That's the bottom line. It's just an option. Yeah, it, and it's just I, an option, correct? Yes, I mean, right. I just have to tell you, I did medical billing for 10 years, so I'm very well aware of how insurance but we, works. But we really need to move so on from that. I'm She's confused got some other that. things because we, and it's just an option. It, this is just a, That's you fine. know. Because I still have a bunch of questions at the end, so. And so, and, and of course, it, it, should we do that? Should we recognize a, about a $63,000 um, gain from that? We still have about $170,000. And our thought is that we could cover from attrition. So we'd be literally walking into next year with hardly any funds for anything uh, flexible. Did that include, but, but we just um, gotta, we gotta it, get prepared. Is this options on top of like, thinking about going back to pay to play and all that too is that all in, yeah we in, all on in that the list. options that yeah. so this is just additional options lists. correct okay yep this is options with real dollars attached to them or at least estimates attached to them so that we can find ourselves closer to a zero balance okay. this was this was a way to get to zero right and 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 again i just can't stress enough that we don't want to do to employees uh, you know, we don't want to blindside anybody. We don't want anybody having to get the news, you know, into June that no, you won't be coming back next year. Agree. We agree. have got to get ourselves prepared mm -hmm. uh, in the event. And we are going to continue to advocate for our needs. That does not stop. Um, talking points have been distributed to schools, and we're going to be putting out our layman's talking points, um, you know, within a day or so, because so, we've got those ready, just doing a couple of edits on those so that our community can have them. But we're going to continue to advocate for what we need. We just have got to be prepared in the event that we only receive funding at the maintenance of effort level. Okay. Okay. Uh, We'll, we'll continue to work with our school administrators because we've already asked them, should they have to cut a position, they're going to be sharing with us which position they need to cut. And so that will also be an right. option. Okay. We'd like to not go there. No. But I, if we have to, um, that's an option. Yeah, we got to do, we got to do what we have to do, and mm -hmm. unfortunately, mm -hmm. so. Okay. Okay. So I have a question about something in the book, but can I talk about that in open? If it's a I think position. Yeah. That's okay. a what? Well, I'm real confused about these salary increases under this what, department. What page are you in? Page 51. I mean, how does somebody get a 13% increase and our teachers are getting pennies? This was brought up that we have People standing yeah, to I'd get a 13%, the Meiji clause. Well, my understanding is. Aaron, shut us down if, if you need to. Yeah, are you talking about individual people? Are you talking no, about no, budget? This, no, no, no. This, this, this is. is Okay. This is a structure that the school district has had in place for a, a number of, of years now. That's nothing. But it's not. We don't agree to that every year. It's, it's just given to us. Well, it's this is negotiated. It's the value of the staff. This is negotiated. Mm-hmm. Okay, because that brought me to this question. <laughs> is this negotiated? Um, right. Now I'm not sure if you can talk about. Are we? Is, 
No, I'm. Uh, that answers. If you're talking about the, your. If you're talking about items in your budget, budget book budget. Okay. that you're hearing there, so right. meaning about that's entirely okay. appropriate. Okay. And this right. is the right place to talk. The about. other document was not. It wasn't, mm -hmm. and but his question answered okay. that okay. both. Um, and then I have one I know I can't ask out here. So. Okay. So are we? Is there anything else that, you that concludes this, all that we wanted to share with the budget? So we agreed to this this year, but we didn't have to. Is that what I'm understanding? I don't know that that's even new for this year. Yeah. No, no, that's I know it's it, not. Yeah. I know it's not. Yeah. But it's something we agree agreed to, to each year. In collective bargaining, we have established salary scales. We need to look at that. If we, we agree do need to a step, absolutely. If we agree to a step. Do, not all steps are created equal. No, they're not. Okay. And yeah, nor not. are departments. I don't really know where you're going with that. I'm sorry, say that again. So, so this department does the same negotiating that this department does, teachers, on, at their own time, appropriate time. We, or we, we just automatically take this we, we have five units. Right. Each unit is represented uh, by either the teachers and then there's the administrators. Okay. Teachers also okay. represent support. Okay, and they do their own negotiating. We have established scales. When we negotiate, we talk about a percent or a step. These structures have existed here for probably at least 20 years. And I know all the systems have this. But you know, there was a big article in the newspaper about Prince George's County. We've had questions asked of our county. Why there are people who are getting such tremendous increases when we can't scratch out three hundred dollars worth? And uh, that situation in Prince George's County is much different from what you're looking at established scales for groups of people. Okay. Right. That's okay. a different situation. I still have a problem with this, and I just I'm like not clear on how it comes about. If I may, Dr. Kane, we committed to a policy on compensation about two years ago and our position was we want to be um, competitive in the marketplace. This year we implemented steps to determine that marketplace and to look at what those wage ranges are. <coughs> We're hoping to have the results back in time to begin negotiating next fall for actual implementation based on that data and that's where I think your point will be very well addressed. Okay. And don't forget that we'll be doing the compensation study as well. I'm so glad about that. Yeah. I talked about that yesterday to somebody. I'm delighted about that. Because that puts it out there. Mm -hmm. It's not us saying it. It's an expert audit opinion. And we decide where what we recommendations we want to With enact. everything mm -hmm. we have in place <laughs> and compared to other areas. I think it's probably the best money we'll ever spend. Mm -hmm. So that, that was it for us, unless there are other um, questions. No, I think we just need to wait and see what happens next week. So, do you have anything, Beverly? No. Okay, at this time, we uh, I need a motion to go back into closed session. To talk about citizens. No, oh, are we doing that? What's that? I thought we took that no, off. No, we took that off. We took we'll that put off it on another time. time. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. We make sorry. a motion, we go into closed session. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 For personnel matters that we yes. want to talk about. All opposed, uh, no. The ayes have it. Aye.